Patricio Guzmán was born in 1941. He is one of the most international known Chilean filmmakers. Although he made some short films, his popularity owns to his documentaries. His first one was El Primer Año, released in 1972. The next documentary was a trilogy about Salvador Allende government, La Batalla de Chile, that meant the consolidation of Guzmán as an artist, considered as one of the best political documentaries of the world. After this, was exiled because of the Pinochet's dictatorship and moved to Europe. There, he kept his cinematographic career and was in 2010 when La Nostalgia de la Luz was released. In this film, Patricio had already gained experience and maturity at his work. This film is the most poetical and philosophical of his trajectory. The documentary is located in Atacama Desert, in Chile, a very popular place in the science of astronomy, and where was placed El Campo de Prisioneros de Chacabuco. Both themes are the base of the film. Guzmán talks about memory and history of stars, universe, and the history of the people that died there and the families that are still looking for the bodies. Atacama is 3,000 meters high, and thanks to the clarity of its sky and the big distance within a city contaminated by the lights, is a perfect point for the study of stars and universe. Just on the other side, on the ground, because of the desert dryness, it preserves the stones and mollusks from thousands of years back. Also, there are mummified bodies, textiles and ceramics with hundreds of years old. Nowadays, the lifeless bodies I is tired for the people that look for their family that died in the concentration camp of Atacama during Pinochet's dictatorship. This film makes us reflect on time, history and memory. In a poetic way are mixed two fields that seem to be very distant. However, the aim of both of them is to study and stir up information that comes from the past so that it can be used in the present. Using interviews, testimonies and archive images, Patricio creates a poetic film. Along the documentary, images, words and themes alternate. When he talks about a fact, we can see images of another one, and then come back to the actual one. It has not a linear structure. The different themes that are part of the film spin around the sense of past and memory. In addition, the way Patricio narrates is almost poetry as well as the images. To have such a reflexive base and somehow personal makes the film be quite subjective. The main characters are Gaspar, the young astronomer, Lautaro, the old archaeologist, Luis and Miguel, who were prisoners of the concentration camp of Chacabuco, Victoria and Violeta, two of the women of Calama, and Valentina daughter of dictatorship victims. They talk about their knowledge and stories related to Atacama Desert. El pasado, yo te diría, pero pero si no hemos hablado nada del pasado. Si en América Latina tenemos una colección de héroes de cartón piedra, de estatuas que yo siempre paso, nunca tengo, no, no siento respeto por las estatuas de nuestros héroes en América Latina, porque no me han contado su verdadera historia. Entonces tenemos que reconstruir y re reescribir la historia latinoamericana para tener una base eh, de futuro. Y el documental contribuye a eso. El documental es contra información. El documental siempre va a ser eh, un peligroso, entre comillas, en cursiva. Porque cuenta la verdad, porque, se pone, porque, no, tiene, porque no tiene miedo. El documental siempre tendrá un costado subversivo y un costado mm, marginal también. Y a mí no me importa nada ser marginal, porque estar viviendo en el medio de esta sociedad de consumo, en el medio, no tiene ningún mérito. Es más vale estar a los lados y mantener la inteligencia.